Okay, so once we have all of here, ooh, that feels good. Ooh, that feels good. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. This, that's Flash. Yeah, yeah. Now that you know how my eyes be, wow. I'm rocking seeds over Nike, but you know me, I'm Loki. Hey guys, it's Precious, and this is Being Precious. Today, we are just going to be taking down the corners that I did in my self care quarantine video. Um, I did mention in that video that I was going to be taking these down and I was going to be straightening my hair. So, this is the next day, and I am going to be taking these down and straightening my hair. The reason that I actually don't do it all in one day is to alleviate how much heat I actually put on my hair. Because I feel like when I do just corn roll it or braid it up, it really allows my hair to get a break from blow dry. So, as you can see, my hair kind of comes out nice and dry rather straight ish I am gonna brush it um, before I start separating it into sections so that I can straighten it so as you can see this is kind of how it looks right after it. you can see how soft my hair is and in that last video I did deep condition my hair if you do want to check that video out first on the hair routine I actually did with my hair to have it have so much moisture and shine you can just go ahead on my channel and look at my quarantine self-care video i'm going to go ahead and take this one down as well I take it down I'm just going to go ahead and separate it into four equal sections so that I can brush it out in my last video you did see that I did brush it all out and detangle it before I braided it so it you know since it was in braids it really didn't get much more tangled so I'm just gonna go down in the middle again make a better middle part since I am going to be doing a middle part for this um, straightened hair. I, you know, I used to be obsessed with side parts and I was so obsessed that my hair actually started like naturally growing it and I hated it. Like it was almost like hair loss in that one section. So I stopped doing it and I started getting across into little parts. And I'm not obsessed with the parts, I kind of hate it. I'm just gonna go ahead for a coat and put that side up. I do always go ahead and do the back sections of my hair first and then I work my way to the front sections of my hair. I feel like it, I don't know, I feel like it makes my hair lay better um, when I do the back se sections first because I actually go in a different direction when I do the front sections so they lay on the side of my head and not going back since this isn't like a going back style that I'm trying to do with them. Um, but yeah. So as you can see, I just kind of section them both and you're probably be like, why did you section it if you were going to leave it both down? because it still helps me when I am straightening it to know what side the hair is really going to fall on. Um, so I'm just going to start by taking my small comb and I just, I kind of just separate it into very small sections. I don't brush it all now, I actually brush it at the very end of, um, you know, separating and getting those small sections and I brush it then. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a very small part and when I say very small, I mean like <laughs> extremely small. This normally takes me about it's an hour and that's that's probably because I'm just so fast now um so I go ahead and I just take a bristle brush and I just do a first brush through and it kind of makes my hair kind of I take frizzy almost um but you can see it's really it's no tangles it's just light light curls left and I um go ahead and most people actually apply their you know heat protecting or whatever all over their head at one time but what I actually do is I spell um at a time so I just kind of like spray my hand a little bit and as you can see it's kind of more of a gel so what I did is I used to have this spray one and I used it since I was in high school and it's always been great I've never had really heat damage even my hairstylist would say <laughs> Like, 
you know, like once a month or twice a month, uh, I would go to her. And she would always... Um, but it's because I think I was because I always use it. And then also, recently, I went to the store and I saw this, which is the serum. And I liked it at first. I think I like it more when I'm blow drying my hair because it is a very thick, thick serum. So I bought this and I thought uh, the serum and I thought myself, don't know about serum again. Just stick with the um stick with the spray. But I had to get rid of the serum somehow. So I just put the serum in the spray bottle and had a bit of water, shook it up, and kind of got this like jelly waterish type of vibe. But I love it. Like it, it makes my hair not be too heavy. My hair, you can tell, like my hair is nice and soft. Like, so, thank you. And I really like to do one pass. Like, I'm gonna do a second pass just so I can get as close to my roots as I wanted to. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go in again. So, the straightener, I do use the Chase Method. And don't mind my straightener because this is actually the E. E. How do you say it? The E. Um, electric or whatever and it's like that wet to dry type of straightener so it's just really like steaming off product because you can see i actually dripped a little bit of product on it but yeah it does it is a wet to dry one so it has a lot of steam because it's like more of a steam flower than like a regular like ceramic so i just go back in my hair has like literally i always take so much time like taking my hairs out of here out of parts in parts I'm just gonna take another small section and then I'm gonna speed through this all for you guys until I get to the front two sections because I pretty much am doing the same thing this whole time. And again, the flat iron I'm using is just the Eve Electric flat iron, and I've had this for like probably five years. You can see it's like chips. I, ch I chipped it, it's been dropped, it's well, it's been dropped, but it still works. So I'm gonna still use it until it doesn't work anymore. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this last piece so you guys can have a better idea. I just spray a little bit, like literally like nothing. And this is so diluted. I rub most of it really on my hands. I just I don't want it clumped. I don't want too much, because if it gets too much, it's, it's not gonna lay right. Okay, and you see how thin this this piece this amount of hair is. Super duper thin. It is kind of a much though, because you wanna make sure it's laying completely flat in the flat iron. It's not a super wide flat iron. So I'm just gonna get up on my roots. Get up on my roots. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, I do like do that. And the reason I do that is because it'd be too much work holding the color the whole time. Like, the whole time. So yeah, as you guys can see, that is really just product coming off my hair. <laughs> but my hair never smells burnt. I've never had that issue. You can see, you see how nice and strong and shiny my hair looks. See that? Nice and strong and shiny. It has so much good movement. I love it. So I'm gonna speak through the next couple clips for you guys. So when I come back, I'm gonna come back on this side, show you how to do on this side, and then I'm gonna go up to the top of my head.
for the audio in the next couple clips. It's pretty low. Listen. So now guys, I have done the whole back part of my hair. I'm going to just kind of push it to the back to see if it's laying nice and flat. And I just comb it through by the root area here. And so it leaves me with two more sections. And for whatever reason, I always do the left side first. So we're going to go ahead and take down the left side. Oh yeah, and once I get done straightening all this, I did take just a little bit more of the serum slash spray and just rub it on my hands and just put it all over the top of it just to give it kind of a sh more shiny finish. Um, and then I did just like um, do one last pass very quickly over the whole section in general. Okay, so once we have all of here, let me get those good. <laughs> once we have all of here, take them down. Thank you guys for watching the video please like comment and subscribe and go back and watch my last video so you guys can see um how i got my hair into the two braids before i started and can't wait to make more content for you guys bye